Okay everyone, let's take a look at chapter 6, Mechanical Input Control Devices. An industrial push button consists of a legend plate, an operator, and one or more contact locks or electrical contacts. An operator is the device that is pressed, pulled, or rotated by the individual operating the circuit. Contact blocks include normally open, normally closed, or both normally open and normally closed contacts. The correct components and enclosures should always match the environment in which they will operate. The 6-2 selector switches. A two position selector switch allows the operator to select one or two circuit conditions. A three position selector switch allows the operator to select one of three circuit conditions. Contact position on a selector switch may be illustrated using truth tables or target tables or solid lines, dash lines, and a series of small circles. Could be 6-3 joysticks. A joystick is used to control many different circuit operations from one location. 6-4 limit switches. Limit switches are used to convert a mechanical motion into an electrical signal. Arcing or welding of the contacts may occur from a possible short circuit if the contacts are connected to the opposite polarity. A relay, contactor, or motor starter must be used to interface the limit switch with the load if load current exceeds the contact rating. An actuator such as a lever, fork lever, push roller, or wobble stick is the part of a limit switch that transfers the mechanical force of the moving part through the electrical contacts. Limit switches should not be operated beyond the manufacturer's recommended travel specifications. A cam operated limit switch must be installed to prevent severe impact and allow a slow release of the lever. Limit switches using push roller actuators must not be operated beyond their travel limit. Limit switches should be mounted in a way that prevents accidental activation, accumulating materials, and excessive heat. We 6 5 foot switches. A foot switch is used to allow a hands-free control or an additional control point. It could be 6-6 six, six pressure switches. A pressure switch is a control switch that detects a set amount of force and activates electrical contacts when the set amount of force is reached. Pressure switches use different sensing devices including diaphragms, bellows, and pistons to detect the amount of pressure. Deadband is the amount of pressure that must be removed before the switch contacts reset for another cycle after the set point has been reached and the switch has been actuated. Pressure switches may be used to sequence the return of pneumatic or hydraulic cylinders. A low range pressure switch may be used with a metal tubing arrangement and a fluidic sensor to determine the presence of a material in process. This will be six, seven temperature switches. In a heating system, heat is produced when the temperature switch contacts cool and close. In a cooling system, cool air is produced when the temperature switch contacts heat and close. This will be section 6-8 flow switches. A flow switch is a control switch that detects the movement of a fluid. A normally open electrical contact can be used with flow switches. Flow switch may be used to determine whether there is a sufficient airflow across the heating elements of an electric heater. A flow switch may be used to maintain a critical ventilation process. A flow switch may be used to advance a clogged filter when restricted airflow is sensed. It'll be section 6-9 level switches. A mechanical level switch uses a float which moves up and down with the level of a liquid and activates electrical contacts at a set height. A conductive probe level switch uses liquid to complete the electrical path between two conductive probes. A capacitive level switch detects the dielectric variation when the product is in contact with the probe and when the product is not in contact with the probe. Level switches detect and respond to the level of a material in a tank. The distance controlled in one level control is small, but any distance may be controlled in two level control. This will be section 610, preventing problems when installing control devices. Contact protection should be added when switching large DC and AC inductive loads to prevent or reduce arcing at the switch contacts. A pressure relief valve may be added to a circuit to protect a pressure switch from excessive pressure. A distance of at least three pipe inside diameters, or ID, should be allowed on each side of the flow switch when mounting a flow switch. 
A DMM set to measure voltage is used to test the operation of a switch. All right, everyone, that was it for that session. Next session will be solenoids, and I'll see you over there.